Okay, now we have our figure. The next thing to do will be the dimensioning. So let's have this dimension. Okay, so again, it's big. So let's try to edit. Let's use um, annotative, annotative. Edit using this one. Modify. Let's go to fit. We have one. Let's have it as point let's say three okay and then let's edit more <laughs> modify primary units we have that let's make this as period um, our text let's have it horizontal and that's okay we set it and then we close Let's see if we got the correct dimensions. Let's delete this one. This and this. Still big, so let's edit the dim style. Modify. Fit. Let's make it Minus point two set current close. Okay, I think that's fine. Or a little bit smaller because it's smaller here. So dim dim style. Let's modify fit again. Let's have this a zero a uh, zero point zero uh, five. Close. Okay, I think this one's better. I want this a little bit bigger. Say eight. Okay, that one's that one looks better. Let's move this a little bit up. Now this one's okay. So let's do the dimensioning again. We have this to one point five. This is 3.5. Make sure that they are aligned. And from here, going down, this should be 1. Here, going here, 4. This one is 1.75. Then click the left mouse. Same thing with this one click and then we have this one should be 4.75 and lastly oh wait uh, there's another dimension here which is one same thing with this one okay skip Okay, now let's change the colors of our dimensions. We have this. Let's change this to yellow. Let's have... Oh, sorry, let's have this as yellow. Now let's match the properties. This one to this one. You can actually do this in a selection window. Doing that. As well as this one okay now we have our plate number one the next thing to do is plot it in our plate so let's open we have our I actually have the plate already opened a while ago 
So let's just open this one. Plate template. Close it. So let's copy this one. You highlight, then you copy. And then going to this, um, paste it here. So you can see it's bigger. So what to do? You highlight this one, and then you scale. Scale, then you choose a point. And then let's have it as 0 0.5 half of its size still big do it again scale then you choose a point and then 0 0.5 another scale and then you choose the point and then 0 0.5 it's getting smaller let's move this from here going here where did it go you highlight and then you move closer to our figure to see the difference on, on the size. So you scale it again. Say 0 0.5. There you have it. And then you copy this and you move. Put it here. Now you have that, you can just copy this, like put it here, copy, then you put your plate title here, you can edit this, this is line command, t-clip, so we have line command, t-clip, so you have that one, then you move this, to the center I'm um, in snap so let's undo that and then the same thing you copy this and then you write your name year and section oh you have to move this by the way still save so move that one because it moved during our scaling so you just paste it here move you can edit this if you are not in the civil engineering department you can edit that one you write your name add some text here to write your name student number year and section and then submitted to you can copy this one put here My name, you can have Marie Rosa, RCE, RMP. Okay, and then you move this one. So you can have that. You can just edit the line. You activate your ortho so it will move straight. Okay, then you also input here the date, the month, the day, and year. And then you also copy this here. So this is your plate number one. So you change the number. You have one. You can actually make it bigger. Oh. You can type the text here and have this. Multi-text. You have one so you have let's say 0 0.3 still not big let's have it as oh, it's why why is it one Zero point three. 
zero point three. Zero point one. Enter. Okay, and then you move this because this is your plate number one. Oh, my ortho is on. Okay. So you put that one. You can actually copy this below because it's only page one of one. Copy that. You have this one. And then you plot. Control P. You choose DWG to PDF. Then you choose short band paper, 11 by 8.5. Then you plot the area. So you choose window. And then you plot this one. Make sure not to click it from here going here. But instead give a little space. Like that. That should be your plot area. So your, your um, title block will be inside your plot area. And put it on center, landscape, you can actually see preview. There, your output, and then you can close that one. And then click OK. Then save. The file format would be your um, name, uh, your name first, uh, your family name, De La Cruz underscore one underscore b s c e underscore plate plate number one then save okay there you have your plate Now you can submit this in the designated classwork in your Google Classroom.